Hey everybody, DM Jim here, and welcome to another episode of Game Terrain Engineering. For the last month or so, I have not done any science fiction terrain, so I'm about to change that. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put up a picture. I really like this image. It's a nice structure, very science fiction-y looking. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another speed build. I'm going to tackle just using this as inspiration to make something. I haven't even gathered supplies yet. I'm, I know I'll be using chipboard but I've got a lot of junk in my junk drawer, like um, medicine bottles and pipes and PVC and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. I'm sort of gonna just make this up on the fly. This could backfire, <laughs> but anyway, I really feel like making some science fiction terrain right now, so that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get to the video and let's see what I can come up with. Well, I lost some video. I don't know what happened with my phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I just did here in about 10 minutes. I cut out these two shapes uh, from chipboard and uh, I used my speed square here to you know draw lines where I was planning on cutting doors and things like that you can see some of the lines here and on the back here so after cutting out this basic shape I cut out a square here and a doorway here and I kept those pieces and then I flipped each piece over as you can see here and I glued on like popsicle sticks and some small little uh, wooden dowels and things like that. And then I glued the piece over it and on the front that will simulate like, um, you know, piping and conduits and stuff. The door, I just took some, uh, some of these flat uh, toothpicks or whatever you call them, these things right here. And what I did was I glued two to make the frame of the door. And then on the back of the cardboard piece or the chipboard piece, I glued two more of these and then glued those down. And what it does is it basically gives the door a recess. You can see that right here. And then there's the conduit. Now when this thing is assembled, you won't see that gap there. It'll be black inside. So hopefully it won't look too, you know, or I may just decide to put some pieces, uh, you know, here to block that. I haven't decided yet. But um, just to catch you up, because like I said, I lost some of my video and I apologize. This is going to be a structure that stands like this, okay? These are gonna be mirror images of each other like this, okay? I've gotta get some more chipboard to make the sides and the top and stuff. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, I have these two pill bottles and they just happen to fit neck to neck. I'm gonna glue them together and we'll put the small one on bottom, big on top. And I'm gonna make this structure that sort of looks like this. And coming out of this back wall is gonna be some foam that wraps around this to hold it in. But uh, I hope you're starting to see sort of how it's gonna look. And again, I'm, I'm sort of using this as the inspiration. Uh, there'll be some differences here and there, but uh, that's sort of what I'm going for. So let me keep moving forward and hopefully my camera will, won't give, any, give me any more issues with video. All right, I've got the basic structure here finished. And again, I apologize. I lost some of the video. I'm not sure what is happening with my camera, uh, but I lost the um, video where I glued this piece in, this piece, and this piece. But as you can see, it is a solid structure. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to my uh, Proxon and cut some foam. I'm gonna insert some foam in here between this gap just to give it some strength so it's not, you know, you can't do that. But I'm also going to cut some pieces that will be glued on the sides near the doors and some other places. So let me hope I've figured out this camera issue and hopefully I'll get you some more video.
while I'm letting the paint dry, um, I repainted this black because I gave it a weathering and I was really not happy about it. So I painted most of it black again. Uh, what I'm going to do next, as soon as the paint dries, is I'm going to add the detail stuff. This is a, this is these are the little things that I think are going to make it look a little more realistic. I'm going to add some granny grading and some little bits and bobs uh, here and there to you know just give it a more realistic look. But I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out so far. I've got most of the painting done. The conduit has been uh, painted inside there. I'm going to do some work on the doors and some of these side panels here and here and just see if I can't make it look a little more realistic. So there you go. That's how I made this odd looking thing, uh, sci-fi structure. I haven't given it a name yet. I'll come up with something interesting, but uh, I do like it. I debated giving it a, a color scheme to match the sci-fi base that I did, this video right here. Uh, but ultimately I liked the black and gray uh, with, the, with the colors that jump out at you. This one's nice. It's very light. As you can see below, I used foam to reinforce it to make it stronger on the inside. But uh, there might be a couple things I'm gonna do different to it or modify it, but uh, for right now, it's ready to go for the table. So there you go. Hopefully you can uh, do one like it. And it's pretty close to the inspiration that I, that I chose right there. So, well listen, um, I do apologize that uh, I didn't have a video last week. For those of you who are members of my Game Terrain Engineering Facebook page, you probably heard why I didn't have a video last week. Uh, I went home or to my parents' house in Pensacola, Florida, where I grew up, and uh, my dad had the cochlear implant uh, done. He's had severe hearing for over 20 years. I mean, almost like 20 or less percent um, sitting across the table from you without a hearing aid and looking at your lips. He would have a very difficult time understanding you. But he had the surgery where they put this really interesting wire. It's uh, so it goes in to the um, to the auditory auditory nerve, and uh, they implant this thing, sort of magnet, underneath the skin. And then there's another device. After that heals, takes about a month. They have another device that is like a hearing aid. It the battery connects to the skin, so it stays on, and it goes in and it picks up the digital sounds and the brain has to convert those sounds into language or music or what have you. Uh, according to the lady who has been helping my dad for almost 20 years now, every person who has the cochlear implant hears something different. Some, some say it sounds like Donald Duck at first. Some say it's very robotic voice. My dad, because he had one somewhat good ear and one bad ear, um, he was able to do what, what's called a hybrid, where he has the cochlear and a hearing aid, and they talk to each other. So it only took him less than an hour before the garble that he was hearing from the um, cochlear implant was actually making sense to him. Uh, it, it was amazing. And again, uh, apologies for no video, but I could not miss this. I had to go home for this. Um, being able to sit across the table from my dad and then later in the day sitting across the room and having a conversation with him, um, just words can't describe. So very happy and um, no, uh, no regrets whatsoever about not having a video up next week. So uh, this video will have to catch you up I have some more things I want to share with you uh, in some upcoming videos that I think you're going to like. Again, some reminders. I will be at MACE, M-A-C-E, it's an acronym, in Charlotte uh, in on November 9th, 10th, and 11th, I believe. Uh, I will be DMing a game for DM Scotty, V of the Crafting Muse, and Bill at Wilax Armory, plus three lucky attendees who... Uh, win the auction. They're auctioning off the other three seats. And I'm also going to be playing some other games. I'm taking uh, some of my board games and I might do another RPG. I haven't decided yet, but it's a three-day event, plenty of time. I'm, I'm going to do some other stuff. I hope to see you there. If you do come, 
try to find me, uh, introduce yourself. I'd love to meet some of the some of my viewers and um, just visit. And let's see what else. Uh, I just started the uh, what is it? Waterdeep Dragon Heist Adventure last week, last Wednesday. Uh, in a couple days, uh, I'm not sure when this video is going to go live, but on the next Wednesday, which will be session two. Uh, I've got seven players. Uh, they have a range of fighter and sorcerer and bard, and I can't remember all of them, but um, we got it started last week. They are well on their way, and uh, we'll pick up again this week. Uh, I'm loving DMing again. I took a break, and I'm glad to be back in that chair. I've read the entire uh, Dragon's Heist adventure. It's not that thick compared to some of the other ones. Uh, it only goes levels one to five, and then they're releasing another one, the Mad... I can't remember the name of it, but it comes out in November, I believe. And it picks up from like level 5 to 20. Or maybe it's 10 to 20. I can't remember. Uh, but this one goes 1 to 5. And it's shorter, and I've read it all, and I've already got some, some terrain picked out or some structures that I'm going to try and do. Uh, and I will be glad to share those with you. I'll probably be sharing a lot of that on my Facebook page. So if you are not a member, uh, check the link below. Uh, come request to join. I'll approve you. Uh, I'm pretty lackadaisical about the rules, but I don't like nastiness and meanness, so just keep that, you know, keep that out of there. But uh, love to hear from you. Post away, share your crafts, things like that. Ask questions. But anything I do like this, I tend to post extra pictures or details about my crafts. I'm going to start doing that there. But I also post essays. Things I write. Every day I wake up, I usually have something going on in my head. I try to get it out there and, and start a conversation. Now, I didn't do it last week because I was out of town, so I'll be picking that up again. But I do hope you'll join me on the Game Terrain Engineering Facebook page. And it's also where I'll be doing things like giveaways and um, posting links to things I'll be attending and doing, doing stuff like that. So please come and join that. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you. I'm trying to get up to 4,000 subscribers, and when I do, I'm going to be giving away that dice book, or not, I don't know what it is, that it, it's a miniatures book, sorry, holds 10 miniatures, uh, that red thing right back there, okay, and I'll put a link to the video where I made it right here, and uh, when I hit 4,000, I'm going to be giving that away to one lucky, uh, one lucky person. And I'll be doing that on the Facebook page. So you got to join my Facebook page in order to participate in that giveaway. That's it. That's all I have for you. Um, this is DM Jim. I'll see you in the next episode.